Hey, happy Coffee Talk Monday. Dr. Michelle coming at you. Life is pretty interesting most of the time, isn't it? So many twists and turns, challenges, good things, love, joy, laughter. It's really, if you think about it, it's comprised of so many things and so many things all in a given moment, a given day, it can be interesting. You know, I, um, I've been dealing with some health issues for the last couple of years and over the last six months, I've been struggling with pain in my body. And I've just been kind of dealing with it because I'm sort of sick of dealing with doctors and doctors who seem like they don't care and seem like they don't want to get to the bottom of what's really going on. So... It's been getting worse and worse and it started in one part of my body and then moved to another part of my body. And then last week I had pain so bad that I actually had trouble walking. I mean, it was terrible. And I'm in good shape. <laughs> I mean, I work out a lot and I really try to work on a balanced, like sort of symmetrical system when it comes to most things. So I am confronted again with having to deal with doctors and I just don't like it. <laughs> it wasn't a good situation to talk to the doctor and then I get sucked into this vortex of unhealthiness that's not me but you know what do you do you don't feel well and people don't seem to want to advocate or help you figure out what is going on and so many things have been going on for two years I was emailing with someone today and I was saying you know the stuff that's been going on the last couple of years, it's been hard, but I have been able to get through it because I have had my running and my pickleball and my being able to get out and be physically active. But now with the pain in my body, I don't know. You know, and I know... I know stuff like this is not so different than a lot of the other things that we confront in our lives. Not so different than dealing with an injury that athletes have or musicians have or anybody has, right? That gets in the way of their ability to do the thing that they want to do. So last time... I was in this vortex. I, I kind of got sucked up in it and it was not a good situation for me. And so this time I've decided to approach the situation in a very different way and really focus on figuring out what the solutions are versus getting stuck on what's happening. And I feel like that has been really, really helpful so far. And I think the other things that have been really helpful are the things that I've done between like January since I last saw a doctor and last night when I talked to a doctor again is really being present and grounded and centered and knowing that I know how I feel in my body and that something is going on 
and I just have to keep advocating for myself. And those things can be really hard. Really hard. And the other part of it is like all this emotional stuff that comes with it, right? And I've been really trying to not stay in that emotional stuff. And again, really try to find solutions and talk to people. Not that I don't have emotions about it, because I sure do. And we all would. Those are natural. They're a natural part of what goes on and we should be feeling those things. I'm not saying I'm avoiding feeling, but I'm trying not to get sucked into the place where I'm just totally in that feeling place. So, you know, it's all a journey. Life is a journey. And I think also trying to find the positive things in what's happening right now has been also very helpful for me. Yeah. The meditation has been helpful. The Qigong has been helpful. The slowing down and being more flexible and really trying to find ways to enjoy life. All of that has been incredibly helpful in this journey. So, again, we have these life situations and we're confronted with how to deal with them. And some moments are harder than other moments, but there are some good, positive ways to try to move through these situations so they don't really take your mental state to a place where you know, it becomes scary and you become isolated and anxious and depressed and you can also reach out, talk to people and ask for help, which I've been doing a little bit more of and that is also difficult for me, but it's so great, so necessary. Vulnerability. Brene Brown. All right. I hope you have an excellent week. And as always, I'm here. If you have any thoughts or any questions. And I will be back again next Monday. See ya.